All right, good morning. Um, there's been some good comments and feedbacks as I've been doing my video series on Japan seems real nice compared to Black Lives Matter. Um, one of my friends, good friend, made a comment that, well, if you go to Japan, you're running away from the problem. I'm like, no, I can go to Japan and still deal with the problems with being a black American and still feel the same way. Japan, as much as I love it, is not without its racial problems, is not without its own bigotry and everything else. Example, I was in Tokyo and shopping one many moons ago, looking for a shoe. Uh, I had just gotten off the plane in 2005, looking for a t-shirt because I had mispacked my luggage and at the, my job were all my undershirts and extra shirts and alternate dress shirts and shopping in Shinjuku the first suit shop I went to it wasn't that they couldn't speak English you're like ew it's an American it was ew he's black and you could see the body language they were shaking they're like I don't want to deal with him I'm sorry we can't help you what is the mindset but luckily two or three shops later I did get a t-shirt other issues with being black in Japan is that you have refugees from South Africa when Japan was letting people leave South Africa and Ghana and other French-speaking countries in the continent of Africa move to Kumamoto. They work at hip-hop shops. They dress like their TV gangsters from L.A. with their over-exaggerated clothes and they sell bootleg shoes and they work in fashion stores. My issue was I had to run into the youngest cop on a beat because in Japan, the police force doubles as their INS or um, their immigration enforcement agency. And he stopped me on my way to school. He stopped me on my way home. He stopped me when I was out getting lunch. One time, it was a different pair of cops in a car. I was stopped. I was wearing baggy shorts and a tank top and I was going to Don Quixote while my clothes were in a dryer. Don Quixote is the nonchalant super interesting version of Walmart and I walked in got my stuff and I kept rolling. I had to call my friend who could translate what the cops were asking for and I was like I have my Gaijin car but why are you stopping me? And it's not that they were stopping because I was hostile. They're stopping to confirm I'm, I am who I say I am, in hindsight. At the moment, I was annoyed. It's like, man, I just got stopped twice in less than a week by a cop checking for my, my foreigner identification card. Not only that, now it's Saturday morning. I'm washing clothes and taking a quick side trip. And I have two cops checking me. And I didn't hear them. When they were pulling up behind me, the car was quiet. But what they did was they cut me off, and I almost flew off my bike. And I'm like, whatever, I'm here now. But at this point in my life, Japan is not a replacement for America. Japan is not an opportunity to escape the realities and the political implications of being a black man. It's not. The difficult part of going to Japan at this age of my life is that my wife has never been... It would be the culture shock of being there, finding a home, apartment or a house, and surprisingly the housing market in Japan is a lot cheaper than the U.S., and then readjusting. I would blend in with the give me six months of working at the Kings, getting the internet set up, and then putting money away for Christmas so she could fly home. I'd be straight. My wife's never been, but... There's a whole new issue, level of issues or problems. One, culturally speaking, Japan would consider my wife obese or morbidly obese due to the fact they're so slender and so tiny. So she would have to deal with that. Then it would be getting black feminine hair products in Japan. It's very hit or miss with male, and I would have to have her load up before we left. Now, how does that deal with Black Lives Matter? Um, Japan... Even with this racism and its, and its very indirect and almost invisible racism, they don't like themselves. 
The number one issue that you can Google is Hafu. H-A-I-F-U. And it's a national issue because Japan wants to be a global player and the best and the brightest in their kids abroad. To New Zealand, to Australia, to England, to United States, all over the world, to English-speaking countries, or France, or Spain, to learn these languages and come back and reintegrate into society. And the problem is, is that most Japanese, once they have left and come back, yes, I'm still Japanese, but I've been gone for two to three years. You are now an alien in your own home, in your own home country, which means have food. There is a beautiful movie that was done about it by an independent filmmaker, and you have these kids that can not only interact with foreigners on an equal playing field, they can speak Japanese and hold their own at home, but then society has labeled them, put them in a box, and treat them like they're black. It's like, I don't know what to do with you. It's case in point, a young lady in Tokyo that was in the trailer for the movie lived in America for three years. She speaks English like a freshman or sophomore in high school level. As far as fluency, comes back, and she's teaching English classes because her teachers now have been called out and they feel threatened by her because her English is better than these people that have gone to college for four years and got their masters that teach English. She just blew them out the box. So Japan is not the answer. It's not perfect. I'm not going to throw it out there and say it is. It's just that I don't have to worry if I'm going to make it home. Short of an earthquake or a train crash, I, I felt safer in Japan. That's why I say Japan seems real nice. If I know if I go fall out and pass out on the street, if I'm not robbed, mugged, or arrested, and I'm not dead, I was lucky. In Japan, a friend of mine was going to a birthday party, and he had $800 in his pocket in Japanese currency. His wallet was bigger than his pocket and was hanging out. But he's like, dude, just leave me. Japan's the safest country in the world. Just leave me at the bus stop. I'll buy your apartment, check on me when you get up in the morning and you go on your errands. Lo and behold, I'm carrying two other people up to my apartment, throwing them so they can at least sober up enough to go home. Turns out he was fine. People had walked by him, people had driven by him, even a cop had rode his bike by him. Nothing happened. It doesn't get better than that. Japan's nice.